When ideas get started in our society, they often appear in the arts because artists are visionaries. The presence of the Logan Center, which will be modern and the in one of the biggest buildings on campus, will let people know that the U of C, which is known, of course, for its tradition of liberal arts, also has a deep commitment to the arts of the present. I think our first building proposal for the competition had a lot of, um, actually, clarity to it about the program. But at the same time, it was, we were making an object. So there was this big sort of cantilevered glass box off the side of the building. I think when we really started to work on the project, though, we realized <coughs> it's important that the building stand as, as that beacon for the rest of the campus. But we really needed to think about the interior experience of the people who would be using the building. So rather than sort of sticking out, we then made that big terrace on the top floor and made that indoor-outdoor room, which are other ways of sort of marking the building and making the building more interesting, but it's also places that you can inhabit and realize what you're doing when you're out there. And if you look at the kinds of spaces that artists generally want to work in or people that are interested in, in the various fields of art, they're not so interested in very design con configured little spaces. They search out industrial buildings. And I think a lot of the interior will be basically white painted because this is really where the students make their art. I mean, otherwise, some of the more public elements, like this, this the, the, the sculptural stair here, sort of sense of the beauty of the tile and, and, and some of these like walls the will be things space. that will be, we'll be, more be, be more finished. But a lot of the building will be quite unfinished, really ready for action. Because you have incredibly creative students and you have very creative teachers here uh, that want to make a, a, a great mess. And they, they don't want architecture to be in the way. So I think we're, we're simultaneously trying to be present but be quiet. All the outfits, the theater and performance studies, music, the arts, the Midway Studios, cinema studies, and so on, to dance, to be able to get all these outfits together in one building, obviously the pleasure will be to have that, that interface working back and forth. It's going to be a creative force that attracts all the artists uh, that are upcoming in high schools. And I think that's going to be really, really nice thing for the university in the upcoming years is to, to portray ourselves as a liberal arts university that is really a home for the arts, um, the fine arts, as well as a great intellectual experience. I really wanted the Arts Center to be a place where people could work, not just house, you know, the art, but like a place where you can feel like you can be a working artist. And I was excited that I think the vision uh, encapsulates that. The aims of the building are extremely ambitious, both for campus and for the neighborhood. I think if we get anywhere close to reaching those ambitions, it will be a transformative event for the university. Our parents have promoted the arts through their foundation for as long as I can remember, and this building will be a fitting tribute to their art's work. It sings. <laughs>